What's up, everybody? This is Jupe from Section 122 on ArgosEndZone.com, and it's time for your Week 4 preview. As always, you can skip ahead to the chapter you want by clicking the See More button and clicking on the corresponding time. So let's take a quick look back at what happened last week in Week 3. Week 3 brought us a little bit of everything at Rogers Center. There were some big plays on offense, a lot of pressure on defense, some stellar special teams. <laughs> right, we want to talk about the Argos. Okay, that was all Stampeders that did that. The Argos didn't really seem to come to play. Outside of Swayze Waters, went 5 for 6 on his field goal attempts. There was one that he missed that turned into an epic return the other way until Trevor Harris was able to cut down the returner. But the Argos couldn't get the ball into the end zone on offense, relying on those five field goals for all of their contributions on the scoring. Bo Levi Mitchell, who... This guy right here said last week wasn't going to be able to carry the load through four touchdown passes. So, okay, I was wrong. Hey, it's happened before. Uh, on top of that, Chad Owens went out with an injury. They're talking he could be out three weeks. So, Dury is down. Owens is down. Barnes is down. This is bad. This will bring us to week four as the Argos travel to Ottawa to take on the Red Blacks in Ottawa's very first home opening game. So welcome to the Red Blacks and all those Ottawa fans. Ottawa will be running with Siobhan Walker carrying the ball and Henry Burris throwing the ball. The Argos, losing those three top receivers, are going to be looking for other guys to pick up the slack. Anthony Coombs did well in the Dury slot last week. And Curtis Steele is, I think, close to a breakout game. So it'll be interesting to see how things go. Uh, the Argos, in theory, losing that pass attack will try to grind it out a little bit and keep the ball out of the hands of the Red Blacks offense. But they will have to contend with Jason Pottinger, former Argo, lost in the expansion draft. So how's it going to go? It's going to be a tough call. Again, you want the Argos to move the ball through the air. So we're going to have to see somebody else step up, like John Child, Spencer Watt. Anthony Coombs played well last week. We'll have to see how that progresses. For your fantasy week, I'm feeling a little bit like the kiss of death. You know, I suggest Andre Dury, he goes down with the injury. I suggest Chad Owens, he goes down with the injury. So part of me wants to pick the entire Hamilton Tiger Cats team. Anyways, I think that we're going to see Spencer Watt have a big game. He's going to fill that void in terms of a deep threat that the Argos are going to look for on offense. Watch for Spencer Watt to make an impact early and often this week, both deep and over the middle. Keep him in mind. Mm, right. So, uh, for a prediction this week, because this seems to be one of those up and down seasons. Argos win one, lose one, win one, lose one. In theory, they're due to win one. So let's take them over the Red Blacks and spoil the party, and let's go with a 32-28 final for the double blue. Why not? That's all from ArgosEndZone.com here in week four. Make sure to comment down below on what you like and didn't like so we can keep evolving this channel for you. While you're at it, make sure you follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. While you're at it, why don't you subscribe to this channel? More stuff's coming all the, all the time. So, Friday Night Football, Argos at Ottawa. It's going to be a blast. Check it out. And until next week, this is Drew from Section 122 on ArgosEndZone.com, reminding you that we ride the rail and we ride it hard. Toronto.